Bernard. Hmm. Is this woman over here checking me out? No. Uh huh. What about now? Freddy, no. Ma'am, can you see I'm hot? <laughs> well, I am. Hey, Tracy, how's it going with your new neighbor? It's good. A little weird, but it's good. Uh huh. Sounds like the honeymoon's over. No, no, no. We just gotta get used to each other's habits, like his habit of reading my newspaper before I get up. How do you know he's doing that? Because when I get up, he's sitting on my couch reading my newspaper. <laughs> oh, boy, you hate him. No, no. I love the guy. It's just that there's little things that I have to get used to. Like last night, he was using the laundry room. Instead of waiting for a dryer, he threw his stuff in with ours. A man his age should not own a mesh tank top. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a mesh tank top. Matter of fact, that's what I'm wearing all summer. Oh. <laughs> hey, everybody. What's up, Spoon? Sorry I'm late. Had to meet with some people in the building. Now, that's great. You should meet with other people in the building. It has been noted. I'm not going to tell you by whom. <laughs> that you don't tie your garbage when you put it out front. Who said I don't tie my garbage? It only takes a second. And with the new garbage bags, they make it so easy. You pull the ends up like rabbit ears, cross one ear over. Right, let's go. Yeah, let's practice it with your napkin. Spoon, I know how to tie my garbage. Of course you can. So why don't you do it? Look. Look, look. Let me see. Rabbit ears. That is a bunny rabbit. Ma'am, look, a bunny rabbit. All right. Hey, hey, baby. Tracy, come on in here and have a glass of wine. Come on. Wine? Yes, wine. Where are the boys? Oh, they're not here. Spoon offered to babysit so we can have an evening alone. What? Mm -hmm. Spoon did that? Mm -hmm. He said he would babysit any time we wanted. I am so glad he's living next door. You were right. Wait a minute. What? I see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Boys on hair. That's right. There's wine on the table. Mm -hmm. You put on them sexy eyes. And here, let me put my sexy eyes on. <laughs> and I got something else. I got the LL Cool J lips. Oh. Look. <laughs> and now I'm gonna eat this cracker sexily. It's sesame. Very sexy. Come here, you. You know, we only have an hour before the boys get back because Spoon is teaching them how to box. What? Hey, Jimmy, you're not a big man, you... but you got crazy in your sack. I want you to get crazy. Now get crazy. That's right, I am crazy. I'm a nut. Jen, Jen, Jen. All right. Ah. Go get a drink. But don't swallow. We never drink the water in boxes. Swish it around your mouth and spit it on the fern. <laughs> come on in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jeff. Go, Jeff. Spoon, what are you doing? I was going to teach my boys how to box, and I specifically told them they weren't ready for the gloves yet. Spoon said we were. Yeah, and he's old and wise. <laughs> hey, Dad, check out my right hook. <clears throat> huh? Spoon taught you that? Sure did. Really? When I was a kid, we called that a bunny kiss. A bunny kiss, Tracy? That was a regulation right hook. You get hit with one of those, you forget your mama's name. You boys come over here. Sit over here. I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you how to throw a right hook. See, the beauty of a right hook is that you never, ever see it coming. It comes out of nowhere. It's like, ha, 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 and then, wham! Oh, sorry, Spoon. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you hit me? <laughs> Another punch you boys should know about. The uppercut. Oh. <laughs> True. True. But what you want to do is put together a clever combination. Like left, right, left, right, left. <sighs> hey, Dad, can we try? No, Jimmy, I'm teaching you how to box. Well, if you're going to teach him, teach him. Uh, yeah. uh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. See, now you're going down, old man. <laughs> Hello. Bye-bye. <laughs> Dad, Dad, oh, Dad, 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 Dad,
two girls go downstairs. <laughs> hey, Tracy, what's your mama's name now? <laughs> I don't even know what you fixing the engine for. Can't nobody drive it. Don't even have a car attached to it. <laughs> hey, Tracy. What's wrong with your face? Look all puffy. Uh, Spoon. He sucker punched me. What? Why would he do that? I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. Bats in the bell free. <laughs> he's got to go. Well, it's like I've told you time and time again, Tracy. Good friends can never be neighbors. <laughs> you never told me that. You sure? Because it sounded like something I would have said. So you gonna ask him to move out? I can't. I'm the guy to ask him to move in, and my family loves him. You know, Tracy, crime drove him out of one apartment. There's no reason crime won't drive him out again. Yeah, but we don't have a lot of crime in my building. Oh, no? No. Really? Yes. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Or are you? Freddie, what are you talking about, man? Don't stop hollering at me all the time, Bernard. <laughs> Tracy, if you care about Spoon and you care about your friendship, you will rob him. <laughs> you will rob him blind. That's good, Freddie. That's good. You have to stop hitting on people and go find something else for your car, maybe like a door, a seat belt, or something. <laughs> Tracy, I thought we was breaking and entering. All we did was enter. We didn't even break anything. They <laughs> saw me the wrong damn mask. Hurry up. Let's grab a few things and get out of here. I got the bedroom. And Tracy, I feel guilty about this. Spoon's our good friend. How much did your good friend win off you in poker last week? Let's rob the dude. Come on in, cupcakes. <laughs> and now that we're here, how about a nice sweet kiss? Hey! Hey! What are y'all doing in my house? Uh, I had uh, heard some noises and. I, I, they might have been mice uh, getting it on in the wall or something because we were playing Marvin Gaye upstairs and the mice might have been getting on. And I didn't want you to hear no noises when you came in your own place. And we got rid of that noise. For you, buddy. <laughs> Look at what I found. Spoon's got thousands of cufflinks. And, and, and I was cleaning them for you, buddy. That is a surprise, Spoon. Clean your friend's cufflinks day. I should go. Sugar dumplings, cupcakes, please don't leave me. Cupcakes, cupcakes. <laughs> well, last girl's gone. Guess the party's over. Nice seeing you again, Spoon. Thank you. Oh, Spoon. Inside, if you put like track lighting by the bed, then it would not let me. What's going on, Tracy? Y'all robbing me? Maybe. Uh, just a little bit. What, are you crazy? No. I just want you to think that there was a lot of crime in the building, so you move out. Well, you the one that wanted me to move in. I know I thought it would be a great idea to live next door to a friend, but it's not a good idea. It's, it's not good at all. Look, Spoon, it's not you, it's me. I'm not ready for all of this. And I need my space. I need my space. <laughs> what, are you breaking up with me? You want me to leave? Just say so, I'll leave. I want you to leave. Hell no, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I like it here. Look, I'm sorry if you think that I've been crowding your space. But if you want me to back off, I'll back off. And I'd appreciate that. Well, see, with that so hard, you don't have to rob me. Just use your words. Spoon, you... Oh, I'm sorry about that. You know I love you. Come here, you. <laughs> Here's a little bunny kiss for trying to rob me. <laughs> oh, I probably had that coming, Spoon.
All right, boys, this is the moment all your training has led up to. Get on with it, will you? I can't hold him back much longer. Get crazy, Jimmy, get crazy. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, just please be careful. Do not hit each other too hard and absolutely no punching below the belt. <laughs> Why did you do that? She just said no punching below the belt. I thought she said two punch below the belt. <laughs> You're a liar. Oh, that's it. <laughs>